Hey guys, it's Danielle. Um, since I just finished reading a book, I thought, hey, why not uh, have one of my first videos be a book review? So the as with anything that I do, I go for the bargain and um, try to find a deal. So I love like the bargain books at Barnes & Noble. Um, this book that I'm going to talk to you about is one that I got. Um, it was on a table that I believe for $8 each. No, no, I wouldn't have paid that much. That can't be it. And I've tore the tag off the front because it bugs me to have the big ugly sticker on the front. I don't know, I'm weird like that. But anyway, um, actually, no, they must have been, it was two for eight. So I ended up getting four books. So it was $16 total. That's right. I knew I did not pay that much. Anyway, the book is called Her and it is by Harriet Lane. Um, I love and you'll see me I'm probably gonna look in all different directions because I have like a big mirror behind me so as I'm looking to show you things I'm looking over there whatever I'll figure it out along the way but anyway I love like suspense thriller type books um, mystery like crime type books those are like my jam and um, so I saw this book and like just the little thing here that says you don't remember her but she remembers you like a little creepy right so it says two different women two different worlds on the face of it emma and nina have very little in common isolated and exhausted by early motherhood emma finds her confidence is fading fast nina is a sophisticated and assured is sophisticated and assured a successful artist who seems to have it all under control and yet when the two women meet they are irresistibly drawn to each other as the friendship develops and Emma gratefully invites Nina into her life, it emerges that someone is playing games and the stakes could not be higher. What exactly does Nina see in Emma? What does she want and how far will she go in pursuit of it? Her is a gripping novel about friendship and identity, about the wild hopes and worst fears of parenthood, about the small and easily forgotten moments that come to define a life. It is psychological suspense of the first order, propulsive and hauntingly discomforting. Um, I was like, yes, please. I'll read that book. Like, totally right up my alley. Everything about it sounded like something I'd want to read. Like, just like a creepy aspect of it. But like, also something you can relate to because as being a woman and like, as I'm reading in the book, like, um, Emma, you know, she's this woman who used to be in television or worked in television and um, now she has two small kids and just like the struggle and feeling like she's lost her identity and just that everything she does is around her children and like that's all she is like a mom and a wife and like her husband doesn't seem to notice and you know that she's like struggling and like whatever like it's things that are relatable to um, you know moms especially with young children not so much now that my kids are older I feel I don't feel that way so much but I totally remember feeling this way so I was like that part's interesting and then like this woman who befriends her but she can't even quite figure out why and like even her her husband questions it like what would this woman want with you she's you know um very sophisticated she's an artist she her she has one child who's a teenager and like her life is very fancy and just glamorous you know and all the things that Emma's life is not. So, like, the whole book, I'm not kidding, the whole entire book until, like, the last couple chapters, maybe? You're wondering why, because clearly Nina remembers Emma from somewhere at some time, and there's, she alludes at different times throughout the book that, like, hoping that Emma doesn't realize that it's her. So the whole time you're like, where did they cross paths? Why does this woman like think she knows, or that not think she knows, why does she know her but she can't remember her kind of thing. Like, I'm just creepy and like the little mind game she plays and like kind of disturbing things truthfully. Like, um, she sort of like kidnaps the woman's son but makes it look like he was lost and she found him like just weird things so you know I'm like super interested can't wait to find out like what it's all boiling down to and I don't want to like ruin the book in case someone wants to read it but I'm going to be really honest right now like I would not 
recommend this book to anyone because <laughs> it's so stupid. Like, uh, I don't want to be like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But the way the ending happens, I seriously was like, are there pages missing at the end of this book? Like, I don't get it. Or I think I get it, but I just don't get it. Like, that's the way the author ended it. Um, it's just such a buildup and it takes so long to get to this point. So you feel like really invested in it and like you're, you just can't wait to find out, you know, what happened and whatever. And then you find out how they knew and it's nothing nearly as like twisted as I was expecting it to be. Like, I don't, I am not really sure what I expected, but it certainly wasn't what it ended up being. And when you get there, it's like a total like letdown. Emma never really realizes who Nina is or that Nina knows her until like literally like the last like two pages, I think. And then there's something really weird that happens at the end and it just leaves it like totally open. Like to your imagination that I think I know what the author was trying to imply, but maybe I'm not that smart. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm thinking, I read all the time, and I read, like, some pretty crazy stuff. Like, so I feel like I kind of get a good grasp on, like, where things go. But I'm not even joking. I was so disappointed. Like, I seriously set the book down, like, and my middle son was like, oh, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I'm like, this book, like, it was so disappointing. It was such a stupid ending. And I'm not even joking. That's part of the reason aside from the fact that they're ridiculously expensive, that I don't go to the movies. Like, every time I go to the movies, it ends up being like, you invest all this time in this movie and you're just, you know, watching it go through and you're waiting and things build up and then the ending is so stupid. I'm like, who are these people who make the endings of these things? I don't get it. Who are the people in a room who go, oh, that's an awesome ending. Maybe I'm just like completely out of touch and don't realize it. I guess, I guess that could be it, but uh, I'm just thinking, no, I'm just thinking this book is, uh, it just leaves you like, like, it's the kind of book when I get to the end, I want to like write to the author and just go, what was that? Like, I mean, is there a second one? I'm going to have to look. I don't think there is. It would make a heck of a lot of sense that there was because... I feel like something needs to be resolved about it, but I don't think there is. And so I would say that this book is not read worthy. Uh, obviously it's totally up to like you if you want to read it and see if you come to some different conclusion than I did. But yeah, I'd have to say, sorry to say my very first Book review is going to be a bleh, waste of my time. But not to worry. I've already started another one. And this one, this one seems really promising. So I'm excited to uh, keep up with the one I'm reading. And I'll be back. I mean, I don't want to do these like all the time. And I don't read that much anyway. I kind of go in spurts, to be honest. But um, hopefully the next... The next time around, the next book review that comes around, I'll have better results to report. So thanks for watching my book review and um, if you like or you think you're going to like my channel and the content that I'm going to have, please hit the subscription button. I would love for you to subscribe and just see, hopefully I can help you, you know, find some good deals and things like that or save you for some time from reading some bad books or buying junky stuff, or whatever. But um, yeah, and hit the like button if this is the type of video that you enjoy seeing, like if you would like to see more book reviews. Um, I realize I didn't get super in depth, so if you would like for them to be more in depth or um, me to cover more about them, um, please just let me know. Thanks so much.